thing is huge. Look at this. This is me standing next to it. Gorgeous. And I'm uh, not exactly a tall dude, but wow. It is Thursday morning. It's actually going out. You can see the sun just being a weird orange orb. It's awesome. It's like 42 degrees and I'm not that cold. Which is weird. I think that's new humidity. It's kind of dry out here. But it is uh, it's very nice. Make it a little less crooked. I can't tell if the camera's crooked or if just the house is crooked. The house we're staying in is a little lopsided and that's what happens when you're in the middle of nowhere and there's very little flat surfaces to build on. All right, so project today. I'm in Wyoming, uh, out visiting some family, taking a little trip. Now, I want to say, if you're going to go vacationing, A, make sure you're vaccinated, obviously. Um, I was tested before I left California, and I will get tested again when I go back to California to make sure. Today's video is my mobile workstation, uh, which is a little finagly, a little fidgety, but totally works. That's the tablet hooked up to the laptop wirelessly as a second display. Here's the goal setup. That's right, we have windows over here wirelessly. I can bring that from, if I can click on it, operating a mouse while holding a, a phone or cord is hard. But yeah, this is all one uh, unified desktop now. It works better when your fingers are not broken. Um, yeah, completely wireless. This is over the Wi-Fi, the local Wi-Fi network. You can either use your Wi-Fi or you can... Uh, run your own Wi-Fi through your smartphone, which I'm recording with right now. But there it is. Seamless and pretty slick. No wires needed. All right, so there's a few pieces that make this whole thing work. The main piece here is desk screen. Um, it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, I'm using the app image because the dev file they op offered was not really happy with my Debian install. But the app image works great. And here's my second screen. If we go to display settings, there's screen two over there, which is actually this little dongle. This dongle can be picked up for just a few bucks. I think I bought mine for like $6 on Amazon. Um, it's a, a dummy uh, video output. And this lets you, you know, you can just pick whatever resolution you want from the dummy. Let's go right there. So let's go, that's 916. Oh yeah, let's just do something more. Keep changes. There we go. This matches the aspect ratio of the tablet to 1910 versus 19, uh, 1610 versus 169. But yeah, um, so extend your desktop. Works with any device that has a web browser. This is a Samsung Galaxy S6 that I bought used. Beast, by the way, pretty groovy. And of course, my ThinkPad. Um, Doing all the hard work. This, this cable here, I'm just charging things. Um, this is completely wireless. It goes through the Wi-Fi. Um, it works wireless. I wish there was an option for wired. I don't know if that's an option yet. Maybe something I haven't found. Maybe something I'm working on. It is under active development. So it's very cool. I believe this is running um, HTML5, what is it called? WebRTC, but just from Wi-Fi device to Wi-Fi device. And he was really in high bit rate over here. So the high bit rate means there's very little noise and it's pretty fast. I'll say this though, I do not believe, at least not in the Linux version, this is hardware accelerated encoding. So it's basically encoding an entire screen and broadcasting a full 1080p or I guess 1200p video feed over here at 30 frames per second. So like when I'm doing video editing, this thing gets kind of kind of toasty because it's encoding video while I'm working on video. Um, I usually have more still things over here. I have watched video on this and the delay is within reason. It's like wearing Bluetooth earbuds within reason. Um, having said that, 
static things are going to be happier over here. It's going to be a little less stress on the encoder chip here. The dongle in question, um, basically just HDMI and nothing else. <laughs> this is the 2K model that I bought for really, really cheap. You can get one of the 4K ones. They're a few dollars more sometimes. But for this particular use, it's useless because this thing, you know, usually when you do that, you're not going to do 4K. One thing I'll point out real quick, um, <laughs> I'm using Caden Live and I disconnected this while I'm working just because, you know, it's getting a little warm over here. I'll say this, Caden Live has evolved to the point where it works really good on a single monitor now. It hasn't always been like that. It seemed like you really kind of needed two monitors. Using something like OBS, two monitors is still the way to go. Uh, but they really, you know, props to the Caden Live team. They did a great job. So this is just like the view from the patio. There's also like a wedding or something going up the property next door. But yeah, this is a, a nice view. It's finally warm. The mornings are very cold and it's finally warm. This might be the first video that I'm going to be uploading to my new home away from YouTube, which is TIL Vids, which is so much noise. TIL Vids is a peer tube instance that's run by people who want to focus on edutainment, like entertaining, but also educational. Um, I feel like it's a better fit for me. They're a more established organization. So if you're already following me on the other peer tube instance, uh, or if you're following me on YouTube, I'll have the link down below to the new instance, uh, TIL Vids, where I'm going to be located. And if you are already on TIL Vids and you're watching this, uh, subscribe, please. Please.